Hello and welcome back to uh, another Kenji adventure. This is the second part of the blueprint hunt. Uh, uh, finding the various locations of the blueprints. Uh, I imported the game again, as I was saying uh, at the end of the last one. I have already done this whole part of the map here, basically. I have not done this little guy here. It's in that little nook. Um, I imported the game and had a look again at the trader here at Port South, uh, and it only offered me the Tech 1 and Tech 3 um, uh, skill tree technology options, basically. Uh, so I'm going to continue on, and I think maybe I'm going to have to build something in here to get some different options. So I'm going to keep heading basically into the southern part of the map in this one. See if it offers anything different without doing anything, and then build. And just to see, sort of see where that takes me from there. Now I just uh, visited Skinner's Rome down here. And again, there was nothing in the stores that was out of the ordinary. There was nothing beyond Tech, or tech Level 1 and Tech Level 3. So I think what I'm going to do now is try and use the blueprints before I head to the rest of the town to see if that influences what's available. And might might have to build a small structure in the middle of nowhere and try and learn. Because I imported the game this time without importing my um, research. Uh, so we'll see how that works out after this little fight. But it's fun to watch the fights. Come up, fellas. Hey, there's that armored hood. How's that working out for you, Kaga? He's pretty different. Oh, last man standing. Yeah, it's not going to end well. Alright, we'll pick it up uh, after we learn a little bit more. So we travelled on a little bit and we got into a little bit of a fight here at the trading post which is this one here, on top of the uh, little cliffs. Skinner's Rome and Port South had the same again but I did click on the blueprint this time and actually learned it. Um, and obviously this opens up the ability to build to craft the research bench one which will enable us to go forward. And it should get you to research to level 2, but you've got to buy at level 3, I assume. But we're going to continue on to the other towns. There's only a few more left here. Let's see what's happening there, and maybe just start a new town. We'll see how we go. So I just paid a little visit to Fort Simon here, or Fort Simeon, the monkey fort. And had a few little revelations about the way that the uh, research has changed. And I actually really like it. Uh, basically, from what I understand now, you just have to pay for research. So as the blueprints become... The blueprints become available to open up the tech trees. And you essentially... Oh, you're sorry, you're paying for the new tech tree. The new level of research. That's what you're essentially buying. Um, which is really cool because it sort of forces you to trade and makes money uh, far more uh, a valuable commodity, which is strange. Um, but makes it makes makes the money make more sense in the game. Um, so the cats have a lot more value to them. Whereas before I was fairly self sustaining um, and didn't really need to do anything. I just stayed in my city in my sort of last big, big, long playthrough. And that was cool and all, but it was getting very limited as far as what I could do and what I was inspired to do, I guess. And this one forces you to get out there, to trade, um, to leave, <laughs> uh, which I really, really like. It sort of makes, it opens up the game again and made it, uh, I think will make it a lot more fun, which is really cool. I am going to explore the rest of the map, but I believe now I'm just going to sort of buckle down and maybe go near to my old location over here but I might move it somewhere a little bit higher if I can closer to Catan um, because I was told on the Facebook page that I might end up underwater which would not be cool alrighty now 
having a look here, we are at, where are we here? We're in Black Scratch. Uh, and this sounds like a more interesting little find based on, uh, relative to the other ones. Um, it's basically, I think, the hunt now is for weapons and where to find them. So down here in the southern part of the map, we have uh, some advanced sabers, cleavers, ninja blades, sabers, flat topper. And over here, I have not seen this before, a fragment axe, which sounds really cool. Um, and this is the new weapon class. Uh, this is heavy weapons, which I saw before was uh, one of the new options in the research tree, which is really cool. So new weapons, uh, new, new weapons class, which is really awesome. Um, and I have another little search of the town, see if I can find anything else. But if not, I'm just going to move on. I did pick up a, um, I picked up a Ninja Jonin, uh, just on my journeys here. And I'm going to go and sell him. But yes, uh, as the pattern has been basically, what you can buy at the construction trade is, is the first step on the tech tree, uh, which is really cool. So let's keep moving and head off to, where are we going to go to next? We're almost finished with this southern part of the map. So I think we're just going to go to these two little guys here and then go make a town. Just another little cool feature of the update that I haven't really mentioned in great detail yet or really shown is the um, arranged loot thing, which is a really nice little feature. Um, you couldn't really have better fit this in here click on this it'll put it in a way so that it will just make it the most optimal arrangement of the stuff that you have which is oh, super cool um, it's a very nice feature because looting did tend to be a bit of a trial um, just constantly playing Tetris with the blocks but I really like that facet of the update it's really nice okay let's move on to the next town we're just leaving eye socket no, we're not leaving Ice Socket. We're leaving Heft, actually. Just uh, towards our last destination, this little guy here. It's always a little challenging to hit that point. Um, but I thought I'd film it because it's, just, it's, it's a beautiful little image. One of many that you see in Kenshi. I still think it's just an incredible game to look at, even though it's very sort of bare bones. I never really get sick of the desert, really. And it's funny, the addition of the small foliage. I like the trees that are sort of sparsely sitting around. Sometimes the foliage detracts from it. There's sort of the uh, desolation. So finishing up here just on our, the last stop of our Kenchi wide tour is this tiny little town here, which is on the edge of the map. Um, it also has some little weapon blueprints in the weapon shop. And the only thing that I can think of, I think the advanced katanas might be an exclusive for here. Oh, I just don't remember, to be honest. Um, but that should pretty much be it for this portion of our tour. Uh, be sure to stop by the gift shop on your way out. Um, there are many, many fabulous things to purchase there. Plush toys and the like. We'll just talk to the construction trader just for shits and giggles. But yes, as I suspected, the basic set of starter blueprints is available here as well. So let's head back out into the wilderness and find a nice new location for our new city. Well, I was on my way to Brink. And uh, I was going to go and set up a new place. <laughs> this guy over here is the sand ninja that I just sort of defeated. Well, I, I declosed, so it would seem. Um, it is the sand ninja Jonin. We can go get him, but even if I pick him up, I suspect that I'm not going to be able to take him anywhere. I've already got one. I think Jinsei has... He had one. He dropped him. Uh, I was sort of on my way to uh, Brink, that's sort of like the middle town. Uh, but sadly, I've run into a few little bugs here. It's not enabling travel at this point in time. Not in a direction I'd like to go in. So if I click over here, or here, I go over here. 
But that's okay. It's an Alpha Kids. Um, and I suspect that I'm going to have to restart completely. Which is a little sad, because I was quite attached to my team. And they've become quite accomplished uh, over their stay in Kenchi land. Um, but that's okay. I was going to begin afresh um, regardless, because I... Uh, I think it fixes up any issues you might have with the game, but I've had this team for quite a few updates. So I think it might be time to start again. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at this point because it's, it's fairly unplayable as this mess. Um, and then restart, and the next episode will be a completely fresh team. I might have a bit of a play first with the idea of building up some stuff and getting my shit together basically in the game before I really tackle any new advances. And obviously these will be coupled with uh, updates. <laughs> so there they are basically, that's most of them uh, standing nice and uniformly in line. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. They're gonna sort themselves out very slowly and I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, this has been Dr. Octagon with another, another episode of Kenji. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, feel free to leave any comments and I will answer any questions. And I think I'm going to leave off with a Rockettes sort of esque dance uh, routine here with some high kicking. Uh, potentially not. Anyway, hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>